the old arrow. It's been neglected during IAE because it's a ship that I've flown a lot, a ship that I love, but I know it very well. So I've been flying other things because I don't get to fly other things. I don't know what day it is today in IAE. You guys are running sideways, dude. Parkour! Get out, hey, parkour! Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, it's Crusader Day. Aw, oh, yeah. The Crusader. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh, man. <laughs> that is so sick. I've never been inside a C2 before. Wow, now that's a cargo bay. What I'm really excited to check out is the uh, the Ares series, because I've never flown any of those either. Look at, look at that detail, dude. Crusader just is different. They're just different. The one thing I wish I could change about Star Citizen for quality of life right now is that you could set all interior doors in ships to open at all times, unless told otherwise. That way you could... That way you don't have to just continually wait for opening doors, especially in the bigger ships. It's a nice... This is a nice feel. It's a cool feel of a ship. I like it. Pick the ladder. Yeah, I mean, the, the real heroes of this game are the designers. These look like bombs. <laughs> yeah. There's the nukes, okay. This is the one we want to rent then. <laughs> Which one is oh this is the Hercules Starlifter. Because the Crusader di design language is just so interesting and cool looking, you know? It's 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 clean, but also futuristic. Which you could say the same thing about Origin, but Origin is much smoother, whereas Crusader has a much more sporty, maybe, design language. This thing, dude, this thing. <laughs> it looks so cool. Look at the detail of that. Oh my god, it's contorted in here. He just got the one giant cannon over here. <laughs> the size 7 cannon. But it just looks so cool. Like, the overlapping layers is what I think of when I think of Origin. I mean, uh, Crusader. Like look at the way that, that all these ships are with, like, there's just so many layers. There's such depth. Okay, this is the Starfighter Ion. Now, what's this one? Oh, this is the MSR. Of course. Nice cargo bay. Same, uh, door design as the Hercules. This is just a giant bulkhead. There's not a door. Looks like a door, kind of. Oh, there's like a whole engineering sub deck area. What? Dude, this is sick. You can so easily stow away in here. That's so crazy. Like a Millennium Falcon. I don't know where I was. Dude, this, this seat looks nice. <laughs> This is probably the nicest pilot seat I think I've seen in the verse so far with the uh, red leather cushions. Oh man, it just looks luxurious. All right, yeah. Yeah, this thing is sick. <laughs> this cockpit is literally the best I've ever seen, probably. Like, oh. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> That's That makes it easy. And this is another Ares Inferno. What's the Inferno got on it? The Ballistic Gatling. Alright, well that was cooler than I expected, even though I did expect it to be pretty cool. As we all know, Crusader does a good job. Alright, nice. I don't have my bounties leveled up in Microtech, because why would you ever do bounties in Microtech? But since we're here, I picked up an HRT to test this thing out. Frickin' IAE, dude. Now there's just too many ships I want in this game. What am I supposed to do? Another... These Crusader seats. Like, <laughs> I know it's stupid. I know it's kind of weird, but it's blowing my mind how nice these seats are. It's really making... It's actually like a selling point. Somehow, for me. Same engine design as the Starlifter. <laughs> Alright. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting, I'm starting to understand why people are in love with Crusader. I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get it. But is it just a pretty face? This is why Microtech bounties suck. They, a lot of them are just left out here in the middle of nowhere. They take like three years to get to for some reason. This thing is very slow. 
That was a hit. Those are good. Nice. Okay. That wasn't bad. As long as my shields can stand up to the punishment of not being able to turn around. Boost into like the angles. I'm just so close. <laughs> yeah, stand still for me. There you go. When you can get shots on, <laughs> it's pretty good, I guess. Can you gimbal this thing? No. Obviously, because it's just stuck onto the uh, the ship itself. Problem is, it's so slow that the range is not correct with the pip, really. My shields are still up, though. Like, wow. I mean, it's got to have good shields to be able to do this. Jeez, what the... <laughs> it's, like, impossible to hit the shot. There's no way you, you would survive an encounter with a light fighter PvP in this thing. There's an absolutely no way. You just can't aim fast enough. God damn. Ugh. <laughs> so, so bad. Target Finally. Destroyed. Holy. Yeah, you would you wouldn't hit a light fighter once in this thing in PvP. It would not you would not hit it one time. There we go. This thing's tough. Target oh my. Alright. Well I understand why people like these ships now. The problem is they're completely useless. <laughs> At least the Ion version is useless. Should test out the Inferno version now. I shouldn't say it's useless because obviously if we were fighting like a Hammerhead or an Idris, it could probably be pretty useful. Because it would easily be able to hit those giant ships. But even then, I doubt you're going to be able to kill one of those by yourself. I mean, you, you would eventually kill a Hammerhead, but you would need a couple, couple other ships to help you out. Okay, Inferno time. Much the same ship with a different gun. But it's a uh, darker pink color. Oh, again, that seat, man. It just... Oh, man. Yeah, that's actually really cool. The darker... The darker paint job. Again, I'm not doing these bounties because they're difficult. I'm doing them just to shoot at ships and test, you know, shake it down. Not gonna get any beauty shots over here on the dark side of this moon. Lols, Pink Floyd. Again, I foresee us having a problem with getting close enough to use the gun but then not being able to maneuver because we are too close and don't have a turn rate that accommodates the clunkiness of the ship. But we will try our best. It's not a question of survival, it's more a question of efficiency. The thing I constantly am thinking right now is that I wish I was in my arrow. Problem with ballistics, you can't waste any shots. <laughs> this is so annoying. He's gonna just crash right into me. Holy... I can't tell if I killed him by crashing or killed him with my gun. Okay, this it's not helping that they're just desyncing, like, insanely. That's a good little burst. Took my eye off the target to check my ammo. I'm <laughs> just desperately trying to get on target here. It's extremely difficult. Okay. I mean, no doubt it's effective. No doubt. And we are not even close to being through all the ammo. You know what? I want to try an ERT with this. I kill myself with this explosion. Yeah. That's a nice gun. <laughs> that is a nice gun right there. The only thing I could see being troublesome on the ERT is the smaller craft. And I don't want to waste any ammo on the smaller ones, you know? Get this thing repaired. I'm gonna go kill Hammy. Alright, the moment of truth is upon us. Let's unload on this Valkyrie real quick. Boost up so that I don't crash. Not try to get in rate fights, although with the Valkyrie it might be plausible. Can't afford to waste any ammo here. If I have to go re restock, I'm basically just out of the fight. Right. 
Come on, I'm losing a rate fight to a Valkyrie. What is this? That one. Another Valkyrie. Shields are holding, though. It's only because they're NPCs, though, and they're, they're terrible. Like, again, PvP. This would never work. Okay. Now we go in. For the big boy. Pretty sure all of those are hitting. Cannot miss. Cannot afford to, to miss a shot here. Need 100% accuracy. They're hitting. Can't see the status of him. He doesn't look very hurt. We're almost to halfway. Those are hitting whole. He's not hitting me either, which is nice. Oh, there's some damage. They're all hits. That's good hits. We might be able to do this. We're about halfway through ammo now. Give me the angle. There we go. This is a good angle because my left to right error is really forgiving. The room for error is forgiving. If I sway one to one side, I'll still hit some part of the ship at least. But we really want to concentrate our fire all in the same spot for maximum damage. This is also about as far as away as you can get and be accurate with this thing. About one third of the ammo left. He's red. He's red in the middle. Shields are up on that side though. Which is unfortunate. About a quarter left, dude. I don't know if we're gonna know if we're gonna make it. Freaking ship is desyncing around. Not looking like it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm not on the pip 100% of the time, but they're still hitting pretty close to center because the length of the enemy is pretty wide. Come on. <laughs> you wanna pop, I know it. You have nothing to live for. Just give up. We have 120 bullets. 127. <laughs> I'm gonna make every shot count here. 76. Getting in close. He doesn't even look damaged on this side. And there it is. Alright, we only have one shot. We have one chance at redemption here. We have to use our head. Here we go. Need to match his pip trajectory. There it is. Don't move, Hammy. Ah! Wait, are you telling me I'm still alive? I'm like inside him. What? We survived that. That was a <laughs> that was a boosted ramp, and we survived. But the sad thing is, he also survived. All right, we go again. This is our only shot at getting the reward for this. Oh, no way, dude. He survived again. It turns out that uh, that both versions of the Ares Starfighter are terrible. Well, at least they're terrible stock. You know, I don't know anything about how to upgrade them, but I'm sure there's some way you can make them better. Oh, well, they still look cool. And at the end of the day, it's a video game and you can fly whatever ship you freaking want to, regardless of whether or not it's meta or not meta who cares just fly what you want to fly it's it's still a really cool ship it just doesn't take out hammerheads